Good evening, everyone. So tomorrow I technically start um, my last year of college for advanced graphic design. And beforehand, I thought I would show you um, this beautiful first edition shadow version of the two-tone tarot. So if you guys can see here, let me just make sure the lens is clear. And it's beautiful minimalism. I think the minimalism of this whole deck makes it very easy to intuitively read if you are an intermediate to um like more seasoned tarot reader um for those who are new to tarot reading you may want to get a traditional tarot deck because this one is a minimal version and an interpretation by the author who um and who also created and illustrated this deck and her name is Dana Glomsky, and she wrote me a note because I won her first, her tarot giveaway, and I chose the dark deck, the shadow deck, and it's so beautiful. It comes in this matte box, and I'll, sh I'll read to you what it says at the back. It says, from me to you. Yes, it's another deck of cards, except that this is a deck with a voice. Listen to its commentary as it observes your life's journey and the decisions you make. Take a deep breath and set your intention. This deck will walk with you like a chatty observer. Take its advice or not. It's giving it regardless. This deck wants to speak to you. So it's created and illustrated by Dana L. Glomsky. And you can follow her at 2 underscore tone underscore tarot on Instagram. Um, it's so beautiful. As you can see, this bo box is very matte. And I'm going to do a review of this as well. And it has all the f major shadow uh, lunar phases it's here. With the Starting with the waxing to the waning crescent and the full and the new moon. And before we open the box, I want to read to you, she gave me a little note um, with her package here and she paid for the shipping from the States. So overall, this deck would be about, um, I guess, $72 Canadian or $55 US. Um, but then she did shipping, so that would be almost $100 Canadian for me. So thank you so much, Dana. I really appreciate this deck, and I look forward to doing a deck interview with this. So stay tuned for another video for that. And she told me that um, thank you for supporting her, um, and I will love this deck. I already love it already, and he, she hopes I learn a lot about it for myself and the world with it. And then she put all the blessings and signed the letter. So that's really nice touch. Um, so let's get started here. So this is like the box, a sturdy box. It's a matte soft finish. The back of the deck. So this has a bit of a semi-gloss finish. Um, I'm not sure how many GSM. But it's definitely, um, it is a little bit of a slippy, slidey deck. But that's because it makes it shuffle like butter for me. So if I were to shuffle it, I'll just take this here. So it shuffles very smoothly. And you just have to be careful because if you do shuffle it like this, sometimes it might slip and slide if you don't hold the, the cards carefully. But it's very, very smooth. And it has this, if you can see... There's almost like a textured pattern to this. It has like almost like a plaid textured pattern to this. And this is what the back looks like. Beautiful. And this is what the front looks like. And this is in no particular order at all. So let me just show you the minimalism. For me, it really helps me with reading like intuitively because... It's just the symbolism in itself. And for me, the less detail, I find that the more simpler and stronger the message. But this is me. So in no particular order, okay, this is the cards. And you could see like the minimalism of the emperor. There's not the traditional way. It's still very effective.
and her wands there's like a rose rose element in it and i love the like the nails on and the hand drawing it's so beautiful and this is the magician the all four elements there the wands are fire sword is air uh, cups is water chalices and pentacles earth So these are about choices and I like that they're all plant choices and then there's an empty cup. So beautiful. It has a very hand drawn, it is digitally illustrated but it has a hand drawn feel and I love that. It's representative of anxiety is very good. And she's hiding here, she's hiding behind her hands there. It gets the point across in the most cool, minimalist way. I wonder, I'm very curious to see how it will interview. Because you can actually interview a deck um, with um, regards to what its purpose might be and its strengths. So I wonder if this will be for shadow work because it's a dark deck with dark colors. And we have the pentacle with the steg for the earth energy. Interesting how the judgment is usually a big ass angel with two humans there looking up. But in this case, it's a sword. So like it's a sword of truth. It's up to your interpretation here to, to try again, to um, forgiveness, to reassess, to hold judgment over oneself or others. That's one way to interpret this is a handsome one king of cups even though i'm not into beards the line work is just phenomenal and this is the sword energy and you can say that hand is pretty effed up and i like that this wands has like an animal on it seven of wands because sometimes this cannot be just a sneaky card but this can also be of of um something amiss it could be um you know sneaky suspicions could be something something not quite right so the snake has that kind of symbolism of being devious in a way and then we have this high priestess this boss ass high priestess she, there's no pomegranate. You don't see the B and J column. It's just her hands on her lap there. And with those eyes. This reminds me of a laurel leaf, which back then, like in Pythia, like one of the um, oracles in the Greek or is it Roman um, times, there used to be an oracle. And um, what they would do is they would use laurel leaves. So it's like one of their treasured um plants and i think the symbol for victory as well and also maybe wisdom i'm not sure if someone can clarify i like that it's free falling as well and that song just came up in my mind free falling maybe they chose to to suspend themselves you know Page of Swords, and the fact that it's a, like a female, that's pretty cool. Again, the one has roses in it, which is pretty. This is so impactful. About to jump off this cliff. No dog, just the most minimal. The bare necessities. Actual heart there. Oh, this is also beautiful. Empress. And she's f f like symbolizing beauty and abundance. Nurturing energy. Pregnancy can be indicated here, but you can't tell from the silhouette. So this is something a novice might not know. That's why I say like uh, intermediate to more advanced readers for this deck. Because the minimalism really does kind of need to know. You need to know the basic interpretations of each card in order to re have an accurate, more intuitive read. 
Oh, a handsome double. How handsome. There's a skull there. And, like, skull can also be, like, something that's toxic or poisonous for you, but dressed up really nicely. Like, the road to, is it, is it hell or, or something like that? Paved with riches. And, like, you know, people in a tux and a suit and tie might be very irresistible to some people. So, that kind of reminds me of this energy. The wands are like sticks in this case. Three of Cups is a lot of motion with regards to um, water here. Overflowing. Oh, this is so cool. The fact that the star, the way the hands move, create the shape of a star as well. And then there's an actual star within there. It's really cool. I just love the hand drawings too. For the pip cards, it's really nice. Oh, another pip. Pip is like, like the minimal version of the suits. So the four suits. There's just a minimal tower. Oh, that's interesting how death, so something that has died, new things are growing or blossoming as a result, like from these antlers. Transformation for death. Ace of Wands. It's like passion and rose can also be of, of romance, but um, things blossoming as well, growing. Oh, interesting. How the Four of Cups, it looks like it's a very sad energy because it almost seems like the tears are falling into the cup. And then this might be where the third eye is here, asking you to be more insightful. This is just my intuitive interpretation for this one. The Page of Coins are female. It's very pretty. Oh. cups but then there's blessings of water in those cups then far away it's all about perspective right i like that the hierophant is like traditional and this is non-traditional interpretation and usually the hierophant is about traditions and traditional spiritual teachings like um stuff on institutions and the owl represents not just wisdom but kind of like authority as well and um Which, te like, because it represents wisdom, it helps teach us life lessons, right? So, and the fact that Hierophant is also related to learning and teachers and teaching yourself things. How cool her afro or her hair is like the sun. Giving and taking of... Resources. Interesting how justice, instead of the scales of balance here, you have the outline and the shadow aspect. So, maybe balancing the light and dark aspects of yourself, right and wrong, black and white. Like, what I mean, not by skin color, but I mean like black and white of a situation Shades of gray in between kind of thing. Fairness. This is cool. Nine of coins. And the, this is cute that the coins is earth energy. And you see it is a plant with roots growing down. And the pentacles connected to it. That's really deep. It's like you don't see much growth here, but un behind the scenes, underground, there's a lot going on. Indecision there. Well, un we could see, but I'm um, choosing not to see something in a situation. Stalemate. 
Oh, the strength card reminds me of Lion King. Uh, a mother lion and a cub. Ouch. With the five of swords. Interesting. Five of wands. Knight of cups. Oh, this is badass. Queen of wands. There is like a woman and her hair or headdress is that of a lion's mane. Isn't that sick? It's almost like a tribal feeling. Feel free to mute this if you just want to look at the cards. There's the road, a curvy road away from the cups no longer suiting that person. Kind of looks like a silhouette of a person there. Hmm. This leaves a lot to the imagination and your intuition here. Wow, instead of two horses, there's just one. And it's leaping up like it's taking action here. Moving or leaping forward. The lines kind of already do all the talking too. It looks very much like an action card. Spinning the web of reality maybe. Wheel of Fortune. Interesting. King of Coins has like horns. Um, similar to that of a bull. And there's like a, reminds me of Taurus energy. I like how it's just contemplating there on that coin. And contrary to a lot of people's beliefs, if you're not into Wicca or Paganism, which is an earth-based practice of, um, and believing magic in everything, especially nature, this pentacle energy is about the uniting of the four elements, earth, air, um, fire, and water, and then spirit is in the middle, and that's what forms the pentagram. So that's why it has a lot of power. From It's like a union of all the elements and the element of spirit or universe or whatever deities you believe in. Oops. Interesting. Sounds like a fearsome face. Very fiery, kind of strong, stern energy. Nine cups full. Beautiful. Queen of cups. The lovers, did you know swans are like the epitome of like romance, I guess, because they're very like elegant and the fact that they're all intertwined in love is very cute. See, it's like the swans are cuddling. There's a small spoon and then the big spoon swan. Four of wands, this kind of looks, reminds me of like those four wands and then like um, a tent covering, but instead this is stalks of roses. Pretty. Because being nostalgic, happy moments, childhood, reminiscing, memories. The world. Wow, this is a statement. This is like success and victory through lots of hard work to stick with it. Ending cycles and being enlightened with this third eye awakening here. We have seven of swords, wands, energy. The coins as the roses, fun. Oh, interesting. Mastering or honing in on your craft to help it grow. Oh, I like that. The hand holding intricately there. It's like happiness. The moon. So this moon energy, you see here the skeleton of this 
creature here is almost like illusions and fears is also represented with the moon along with fantasies and dreams so this could be like fears and illusions just being a nightmare for you all in the mind um or like you know fantastical things um and imagination as well And six of Swords walking away and transitioning to something better. Eight of Wands energy still the same as the Rider Waite Smith. And this is a very interesting, beautiful lashed hermit. It's like going back into themselves, you know, to to um to recharge. A very much an introvert card represents Virgo and maybe some deep insights from self-reflection and looking inward so maybe that's why it's peeling back you're peeling back layers of the outside world and distractions to go inward i don't know but that just came through for me and there is a guidebook online as well and on her website and i hope you like that i'm going to shuffle now and um Pull a card or so. Thank you so much, Dana, for these. We're going to pull a card for the collective here for advice. One or two or three. It's up to what Spirit and Universe guides you to do. You can also read cards like this. Or you can also... So smooth. Oh my gosh. It just slides like a dream. So far we have six of wands. Eight of coins. And last card for advice for the collective. Wow, a lot of pentacle energy here. So six of wands, eight of coins, ten of coins. An overall theme, nine of coins. Everyone is thinking about earthly things the body and also about money if not career could be stuff in the home so the six of wands energy i find is about recognition and victory and triumph and like cradling this precious rose because of being grateful and celebrating it's like beauty and and the achievements the growth it took to get there this is how i see it and the eight of coins is about honing in on your crafts honing in on a new routine especially with school starting back again and places opening up so this is about working hard again with regards to um, your goals and practical like steps and practical ways of working hard this is definitely a lot of people also going back to work in the daily grind and to hone in on their skills and crafts further which might allow you to grow and um, not just your self-esteem but that self-esteem others see you in as well and i see here that a lot of people will be working very hard to save up money and the coins here with the ten of coins is about abundance about savings about feeling rich in life and this is also creating a wealth of memories ten of coins is also representative of family income family money um this is about feeling fulfilled in in aspects of your daily life like like have the food stuff in the home things you're grateful for you're grateful for you're rich and abundant in no matter how little or how much you have i do see here like paychecks coming in stuff like that 
and also maybe time and abundance of those you care about is like very much um on your mind and family issues as well working through family issues towards victory and success whatever those practical goals are and we have here nine of coins it all starts from gratefulness so i am reading intuitively i don't have her online um, tarot guide here but you guys feel free to do so especially if you're new to tarot this is just so wonderfully smooth i just keep having to touch it the box too is super smooth and for me this is about you know counting all the eggs in your basket and being very grateful and cherishing each one for its for its blessings and this will help draw more blessings to you this is about celebrating all your achievements that you've done so far so that any new growth or achievement can be built upon happy stable foundation and that creates a lot of work but this is going to be a long-term success if you put a lot of hard work into it but at the same time to also treasure and savor the hard work and the moments and the efforts that's been put into whatever goal or people or what you find is fulfilling and this will help you kind of um build a very happy fulfilling and content life is what i'm getting here this could be work related personality personal wise this could also be family related and as well and also making good income and a lot of people saving up and never never taking things for granted because that's where the blessings and feelings of contentment will be it's not just in the material gains from working hard but in treasuring um the moments that lead up to that and it's not always about the end goal but the journey as well being grateful for the little things um is where i'm getting to so it's all about abundance and working hard to maintain that abundance while not forgetting to feel um to pat yourself on the back for a job well done and a lot of people are going to be working hard so that to to just tell yourself that you are doing a great job and that will lead to a lot of abundance and happy things as well And that's all I'm getting for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this. I'm going to upload this now to YouTube. And I might do um, an Instagram live video on the Instagram. Take care guys. Bye.